So that's basically that. As long as you don't actively oppose an appeal, we can go ahead. But without your support, he doesn't stand a chance. Don't say it like that. Well, how else do you want me to say it? He doesn't stand a chance either way. Listen, I don't think this is helping. You're right. And from now on, I don't think we should say anything while we're in his room. Especially if you're so sure that he can hear us. He can't hear us. And even if he could, he wouldn't understand. No, Tracy's right, though. I mean, he might be able to feel the tension in there. Well, I hope to God he can't understand. Because what three-year-old wants to hear that his dad's given up on him? You know, I'm scared to leave you in the same room as him. Leanne, that is enough. Well, it's true. Please. Please, Steve, it's too soon. Please, please reconsider for me. Look, I won't oppose the appeal. But I can't support it either. I've made up my mind. Now is not the time to be going back and forth. Going back and forth? Back and forth? This is his life! I think you're making the wrong decision. Look, I know you're emotional. Emotional? It's impossible not to be emotional. I'm trying to stand back here. Oh, well, good for you. I'm glad you can stand back because I can't. I'm not a judge. I'm not a doctor. I am a mother. And if that makes me emotional, then yes, I am. It's hard to imagine, isn't it? Normal things going on. Life outside this place. Well, we'll all be outside of it soon. That's the reality. You'll go back to work. And one day you'll laugh at something on the TV. Life will go on. Well, I don't want it to. Not without him in it. I know. Sorry about before. I thought you meant I was hormonal or something. If I dare. And I'm sorry I can't change your mind. I'm sorry too. I do appreciate you not standing in my way. I might get a cup of tea to want anything. You won't stand in my way, will you, Steve? Come on, wait a minute. Just tell me that you won't stand in my way. Look, I can't do that. I, th I think this appeal is a mistake. And if you lose, and then it's going to go on and on, I can't stand by and watch that. So what are you proposing, then? I'm going to go and see a solicitor. All right, so I I'm, I'm fighting for our son, and you're going to fight to put him to sleep like he's a cat or a dog? No, I will fight so he can die peacefully, without all this aggro and bitterness. Tracy. It's got nothing to do with Tracy. Well, who then? Imran? Who's put all these ideas in your head? Because I've known you long enough, Steve, to know that you haven't got a mind of your own. I can think for myself. I've heard all the advice. I've been sat there in court. I've been sat here by his bedside. And if I thought for one minute that he stood any chance of any kind of life, then I would be with you all the way, Leanne. I've even said as much to Imran. I would be banging on the door of that Supreme Court right now, but there isn't, and I do not think it is fair on him. Look, I'm not saying that we don't love him or that we haven't tried our best, but I think we need to do the hardest thing here. Even though, even though it is so difficult, we need to realise that we cannot save him. Nobody can. So why prolong it? You know why? Because things change. We need to do what is the most difficult thing, and we need to put him first. That's what I'm trying to do. Look, I don't think you've put a foot wrong since the second he was diagnosed. I've been panicking, I've been, I've been flailing, I've been changing my mind, but you, you've known exactly what you want to do from the outset. You have not wavered. Please. Please, Steve, please don't make me do this on my own. You have been a brilliant mother. He has hit the jackpot there. So has Simon. But you're not going to change your mind. I'm hoping you will. Well, we've come to the end of the road then, haven't we? <laughs>